One sort of taunting dance's moves came to his bedazzled eyes. The devilish cat grinned his Cheshire expression. She would regret that move for the rest of her entire life. He would be embedded so deep in her head that she would be making en diary entries, never being able to recover. Adrian watches the movements of Merritt bragging that she could dance better than Cat. With Adrian's claim, she took in the wardrobe of a hip hop boy, her hair tied in a low, key ponytail in the back, wearing a golden hat. She flipped the tip at him. She even winked at the desirable Adrian as he only stood there clapping at her tent. <laughs> the girl was on fire as the sparks trolled around her body, seemingly to light up flames being thrown with foxfire eaters, twirling the staffs, enveloping her the beautiful hues of water droplets, grin on face, reflecting of hers from the back of the jade's golden boy, orbs lean. Got the moves like jagged. Was with the jag jagger theme. But instead of Jagger, it was Jagged. I don't need to try to troll you. Look into my eyes, I own you with the moves like Jagged. I got the moves like Jagged. Got the moves like Jagged. You want to know how to make me smile. Take control of me just for the night, but I share my secret. You got to keep it, nobody else can see it. Ooh. She danced the moves of Jagged Stone, the shaking of her limbs, her hands all over the place as her legs swung behind. Different from most of his, those dance steps intrigued Aiden. He imagined the same for them to, if they ever reached that date, he was convinced was, wasn't too far away. The tip of his tongue clicked. Enjoying the choreography set up from the rock star himself, <laughs> the blue angel kept him smiling. The girls in the class were all dressed in black and red dangling on air swings. Flowers decorate all the way down the ropes. Red and pink roses for Merit Du Pan Chain. Adrian laughed at his pun. Deadly? <laughs> with a pan as much as Ladybug Yo-Yo. I will be sure not to anger her. The blonde felt a kosher. <sighs> the stare biting the edge of his full lips of pleasure, trying to not lick his bottom lips in front of the show off. The innocent like heart inside his chest pumped blood everywhere inside his shell. The boy just had it itching to reveal the drastic moves. Nerves inside curving to the will to let loose. It was always the girl's fault. At least he thought so. Just shoot for the stars, see if it feels right, and aim for my heart. If you feel like you take me away, and make it okay, I swear I'll behave. You got me dead to white and black. Do you really want to outshine her? No. Oh, these two are They were so a team annoying. unknown. Shut up, She was Marie. so exquisite in her lip sync. Then she had licked her full and pretty lips at him. Adrian's own teeth put it back, almost to grinding them without holding his tongue. His feet harmonized with all the displays, and foot action left calls for him to be more anxious. I don't need to try to control you. Look into my eyes, I own you with the moves like jagged. I've got the moves like jagged. I've got the moves like jagged. You want to know how to make me smile? Take control on me just for the night. When I share my secret, you gotta have to keep it. Nobody else can see it. Oh no. She didn't shake her body at him. Snapping her fingers at him seductively, her limbs bending over, swinging those hips of hers in front of the teen superstar? Adrian stood still, folding his arms. Challenge was accepted. Mary would not only eat her words, she was going to be outstaged and be thrown to the wolves. The dragon tattooed redhead spoke to Adrian's ear. 
Go get her, Kit Noir. Adrian's dark blonde brows knitted together while she pulled on his arm, giving him a hint of inspiration. She handed him a special bag of goodies. She whispered again with instructions to play it by ear. Adrian's abilities were outstanding in quality. She had claimed to have all the details to the next move in a week, cupping her hand over his ear. Throw them out of the water, Count One. <sighs> Adrian and his bondage gear remembered Ladybug, describing how the white cat was destroying with a Dragon Ball Z over a super cataclysm. The blonde only laughed. <laughs> this battle would be the ultimate display of beyond expectations from the leading audience. Marinette had set up a challenge for Cat Noir. All people. She had him at the gameplay world. When it came to the world event spectacular events, he had it in the back, in the palm of his paws. Nobody could outshine Adrian Graham's lily of breast athletes. Not even Ladybug. And, and Adrian knew it. So let Marinette wink. Bring it on, Elfie. And if she could handle this performance, he might bring her in with his own moves. He shook his hips a bit, pretending to ballet when she turned around. The boy could dance. A freak on that she would never want to wake up. Dream Boy was his trademark. Did she realize what she had done? Cat is in the closet, but she wants a standoff. Well, now, be careful what you ask for. Turning his head at Alex, he slipped on his silver sunglasses, being a cool cat. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, dark as night hair Marinette will not be picking her own self off the stage for when he got through. You are in for a sudden heart attack, in which there is no clear on but who she had it coming, didn't she? Once her told in dance moves came to her bedazzled eyes, the devilish cat grinned his Cheshire expression. She would regret that move for the rest of her entire life. He would be embedded so deep in her head that she would be making diary entries never been able to recover, he repeated to himself. She came on with a flashing of her devious smile, flipping over her body, her torso, a carousel, and hands standing while she fat breakdanced. When Adrian's eyes exchanged glances at Marinette, he took in the cynic description design inside his brain cells. He had had the idea. Sorry, my lady Marinette. You did this to yourself. Beat that cat if you can, she said on the microphone. Unless you're a scaredy cat. Her lips kept moving as Adrian shook his head in disbelief. The face he always gave when Lila lies to others. Encouragement was the best of personality in the public eye. Just this once, he had to set the lovely girl in her place. He shrugged as he prepared a spectacle. <laughs> Pulling away, he moved off the stage giving Marinette worry. The lights from the whole stage turned fully off, leaving her concern that she had angered Adrian. She knew Adrian liked Cat Noir. He was his favorite superhero next to Ladybug. Marinette panicked, looking for a crush in the crowd, then ran out getting herself undressed oh, on a lovely silverly white dress with decorative pink blossoms on the hemlines. Prince's sleeves were pressed up on her small shoulders. I don't know, Marinette. I hope you didn't do anything stupid. And for long, she heard the sound of thunder, the believing to be in a coma. She rushed out without transforming, only to see tons of women, girls, and her classmates staring at a bright blue light around the Parisian poles, which lighted up with tiny fragments of tender rain. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. 
I'm laughing at clouds dark, dark up above. The sun's in my heart and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, have a smile on my face. Adrian was dressed in a black top hat, a cane under his fingertips. Even the lights flashed left and right, while his body gripped the cane as soon as tall as the jump. He was always perceived as to all his friends. Then the theme stopped, played on for a bit, then switched. He then ducked behind the umbrellas with Kim, Mark, Nathaniel, Max, Luca, Felix, and Ivan dressed in black leather jeans and jackets while Rohu shone up. Ice Cat Noir slid on on ice as the skates created a huge heart. Love me or hate me, Cat said on the microphone. Challenge accepted. He gave himself time to lose after playing with a black umbrella. He leaned on it, winking, then skated off. After the others kept dancing with skates holding back umbrellas, Marinette wondered where Kat was skating to. She searched the stage looking up at the boys in her class. Marinette in her Lolita dress was pressed up against a dark figure. She almost fell to her footing. Spontaneously silvery white letter was in view. A dark blue cat, like pupils, took her in surprise ah! while the audience was bedazzled. Cat Noir was the fearful Akuma Ladybug had remembered. Cat reminded her that she had nothing to fear but fear itself. Then the rain sprinkled with flashes of fearful lightning that flashed across the stage. The illusion of lights, sparks fell in the shape of a black umbrella. Then it lit up blue and silver, chimes of the song remix of a male singing voice she'd only heard as a tune. The voice of someone she didn't recognize. The agent took a finger to his chin to laugh silently. The vocals that belonged to none other than him. Adrian, slash Cat Noir, slash Mr. Bug, take your pick, he thought. Lip sync to his own voice, he found it amusing he had dictated how his dances would be already. Marinette would be shocked, especially with what was laid up on his heart. Straightforward was his style. Time to show it all to the lady of his choice. Wait, so that was really Adrian's voice? Adrian took the signature umbrella that Adrian lent Marinette that special rainy night. He danced with his chosen miraculous holders, all the boys from class more, each dancing alike except for Cat. He flirted with his four fingers in his mouth and laid on the stage for posing like a French girl. Licking his lips, tongue at Marinette, he held her hand to her chest. She held her, who held her hand to her chest. You have my heart, I wanna be worlds apart Maybe in magazines, but you'll still be my star Displays of cat flashed the Asian holograms displayed in the air of the magic umbrella scene that haunts them both to this day Cause in the dark, because when the sun shines we shine together Told me we always forever Said I'll always be your friend Took a note, but stick it out to the end Now it's raining more than ever Now we'll still have each other You can stand under my umbrella You can stand under my umbrella Hey, 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 hey Under my umbrella Hey, 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 hey Under my umbrella Hey, 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 hey Under my umbrella Hey, 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 hey Hey, hey. Blushing rose red, she realized Cat knew something she didn't. Was he going to hint what his hidden secrets were? 
So here you go, Marinette Princess. She knew the wink was wickedly done. She backed up some, not facing the figure. He whispered, pulling her against him, using a shag against her. Then he, re then he waltzed her on her tippy toes. Picking her up, he spun her about. Then later started to use sexy moves that now considered the norm. The best pole dance moves using the light stand on stage. All their lights blinked on and off in bright golden lamp lightning. You can run into my arms, okay, don't be alarmed. Coming to me. There's no distance in between our love. Gonna let the rain pour. I'll be all you need and more. Cause when the sun shines, we shine together. I told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. Took enough, I'll stick it out to the end. Now it's raining more than ever. Now we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. Eh, eh. Hey, 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 under my umbrella. Hey, 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 hey. You can stand under my umbrella. Hey, 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 under my umbrella. Hey, 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 hey. Then from your voice echoed on the stage. The white cat pulled her to him as the rain sprayed everywhere. They stood there with rain droplets falling off their faces in a moment of time. Merrick claimed to Cat, You win. He won. Again, he outdid everyone in the stage performance. Cat dressed in white whispered something in her head. Marinette, this is yours too. You can open up the shell that I had encased as my exoskeleton. We make an amazing team. So instead of one over the other, let us do this ditty together, shall we? Merrick smiled at her, winking at her. She agreed. In the upcoming chapters of our special little story, we will be showing parts of Capla musical in which there will be some added scenes in this one video you've seen already. Um, I am going to Someone said they wanted more to the musical than already was. So there will be this extra bonus scene for you guys before you get to your episode part two of the uh, Cat Blanc yeah. musical. So uh, here for just the audio version, I don't know if I'm going to actually put footage in this except for one picture or two or something like that. I just because this is bonus, and uh, enjoy! What have I done? I rejected him. Full on, utterly rejected! Adrian aggressed! Just because he's. Calm down, Marinette. No! I rejected him right then and there. I feel so bad. He'll never forgive me for this. He said he'll always be there for you. You already said that in your diary. No. You don't understand, Diggy. When I said I didn't know which one I wanted more, it's getting more complicated. And now he is this cat blood guy. I'm 
was I was so scared on that stage. But didn't he make you relax? After a while. He did. But it's not enough, Tiki. I just my heart was just a flutter mixed with all kinds of emotions. He can't be the same person. He just can't. Why would he be? What he said. Wait. Don't you remember his words? I'm not that person. I'm not as bad. I was just trying to tell you how to get there. And yeah, I kind of did crack up some jokes along the way. You never like my jokes anyway. Don't say that. It's true. You really... What, all those things that you said to me were jokes? How could you joke at a time like that? I was sitting there trying to save your life. Fail again. I heard you talking to yourself. There are some things I need to talk to you about anyway. Like what? The reason that I revealed myself on the stage was to give you some kind of outlet to where you can actually feel emotion and be able to express it more. It's my fault that you went well, ballistic. <laughs> yep, same face. What I want to tell you was, if it weren't for you coming down to the timeline to save me, I would have been stuck in that timeline. Forever. I personally came here to thank you. Uh, There's not much more I can say than that, huh? You're so confusing. When I looked into your eyes, I had a timid feeling of fear, replaced with a marcity. I felt like I was betraying my emotions and my feelings, because you were the same. You're the same person! It makes no sense why you act the way that you do. Sorry? You probably hate me now. No, I don't hate you. It's... It's so complicating. You're mesmerizing. You're majestic. The reason I couldn't fight you the way I should have been able to fight any Akoma was because you were my friend, Cat Noir. Oh. And you're the one who said... What happened to you, Cat Noir? Save me. You manipulated my feelings. It's not fair! I can't control what I did then. I'm trying to apologize. When 
and you went ballistic on me. Now you're breaking more than my heart, Marinette. You were. That's when I watched what I did. A flashback from Bunnock's memory. Bunnock's memory. Oh. She gave me a type of pen and when it flashed it in my eyes I saw it all I saw what I did to you to me it might have been amusing in the, the moment because that's just how cat noir is the, the the lines he gave you were jokes it didn't seem like a joke to you probably not but that's just the way I am. As I said on the stage, love me or hate me. Challenge accepted. You wanted one, you got one. But if it wasn't for you bringing that out of me, Cat Noir is a mask. That I am free to use anytime my will I pleased to know that I can be with you no matter what form I'm in. But you still fear this exoskeleton. I tried to explain it to you on the stage, but you kept getting upset. I was thrown into a world that I had no idea what was going on and Bunnix expected me to fix it. And you did the same thing. All the pressures. I don't even know if I can handle being a guardian. Then let me help you out. Stop pulling the weight on only your shoulders. Lean into me. That's what I... That's what my power's for. You don't have to deal with the burden alone. You're so stubborn. You hate me for it? Of course not. I told you on stage, I'll tell you outside stage or anywhere you want. I love you, Mary. And that hasn't stopped. In some ways, it's your fault. When we started knowing each other in different forms, you just gave yourself away with all the words, the jokes, the movements, the mannerisms. I'm not oblivious as you believe me to be. Master Fu told me some things, okay? He gave me hints. Dad has thought you didn't know. When he was supposed to be secretly giving me Chinese lessons, which I'm pretty darn well good with, he also told me some things about you. He betrayed me. He didn't do that. He opened up my eyes. I didn't know anything about friendship until I met you. Do you know, besides Chloe and Felix, you were my true first friend. You taught me so much. Then I was able to talk to... Well, first I talked to Nino, but if it wasn't for Chloe, Getting an argument with you over a bubble gum, of all things. <laughs> now you laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help myself. <laughs> I 
I have been trying to wreck my brain to figure out how to become your good friend. And all along, uh, not only is Ken War, but it's Adrian. You push me away. It's like you don't want no one near you. Sometimes you act so cold, distant. You don't let no one in but your own family, which, God bless their soul, they love you too. But they got to know you. At least on this side. If you want, we'll keep it all a secret. We won't tell anyone, no one at all, not even Aya. Just give me a chance. Don't cry. Do you know the day you will come here run over to Luca? Cause I thought you wanted Kagami so badly. I just was sacrifice your own happiness. Does this have anything to do with when I became Kappa? You felt you couldn't trust me. That's it! That's why you pushed me so far away. That's why you ran to Lucas Arms. Not mine. You thought... Oh, so you put me in the same place of... All the other students that would probably spread your name in bad waves all over the class ground, school grounds. That's it. You never trusted me. If you didn't trust me, that's a hypocrite. Smile. 
smiles that you give me. Is this gonna change things? I guess I better be ready for that. His blue eyes. Some sadness. Huh? <laughs> Why are you hugging me? I'm sorry. You as a friend. <laughs> you're off, you're hugging awfully tight. I don't want to lose you, Adrian. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's getting late. Father's coming home in five minutes. I gotta get home. I just wanted to see you. Can we still be friends? Like you want? Please. I just don't know how to handle my emotions. I told you this, cat. I know. But if you're sincere. Stop avoiding me. Speak to me. Let me know you're there. And be my friend. Even if you don't want anything else. But that's not it. Then what is it? Uh, um. See, you can't tell me. It was nice being in a dream world. Uh, I'd to share fantasies with you someday. Adrian. What are you gonna say, Cal? You can call me C V. Speaking of blue, her eyes look like a Milky Way right now. Uh, Milky Way? I'll see you later. Black. 
I thought it could be more in love with Ladybug, but I couldn't be so dead wrong. <laughs> Been everything I said to her. Hopefully she'll take. I hope she doesn't take the long route. That's what she's been doing. Well, I can give her heaven or paradise or hell. Plague. <laughs>